Hey there guys, MC Procrastinator, I have now pulled up. I have uh, my good old um, fellow friend, Pettigrew, um, the infamous uh, vlogger. Um, say hi. Hello, guys. Yep, so uh, he's been kind enough to take some um, high quality pictures of the bike. Um, we're just going to do, uh, I mean, you all know what an 899 is, guys. I, I, you know, I'm, I'm sure you've seen plenty of vids uh, with regards to that, but look. I'll do a bit of a walk around. This 899 has done uh, 19,500 Ks. Um, my understanding is that it's completely standard. Um, no additional parts on it. It's um, it's in really good nick. Um, the only thing that I would say that is a little bit of an issue with regards to it, and as I come round, you may be able to see, um, just very close up, we've got a couple of stone chips can't really see that too well in the light they've been touched up there which you expect on a bike this this age it's a 2014 you've got the Brembo Mono uh, mono brakes on the front there and um, obviously this Ducati's in the Ducati red let's just go down the bottom there let's have a wee look at those Brembo babies Which this model has traction control, ABS, and it's um, look, it's a really, really nice bike. I definitely think this is nicer than the Honda CBR1000RR that I've got at the moment. Um, the riding position is very different, as mentioned. Um, I love the fact that. I, I've never actually noticed one with a rear seat cowl on like this. It tidies up the bike just perfectly. That was actually one of my peeves when I seen the bike first. Um, just having that kind of uh, blended rear seat into the back pillion seat. I didn't really like that. Um, this bike doesn't have a tail tidy on it. So it really is like absolutely bog standard. It's really interesting actually. Um, I don't know if you can see this, but... So again, we got Pettigrew's bike here. And... Interestingly enough, if you if you look at this, they're very similar in size. It's a really, it's actually quite a small bike that caters quite well for somebody that's um, quite reasonably built, such as myself. I'm six foot one, 86 kgs. I'm quite muscular, and um, it accommodates me really well. You, you might be able to see. Actually, I'm just going to do a close up here. See how the you can see the insides of these here. So I just inside of this here it is so smooth and slippy that when you're on the bike so you're, you're kind of sitting here and this is quite narrow right so you sit here and every time you brake or your engine brake you slip down this because you can't grip onto the side of the tank well enough um, and I have to say I've got sore um, <clears throat> sore knackers because of it to be honest with you um, so that's a little bit uncomfortable and then um, I might as well show you while we've got this here the dash. The great thing about the dash is there's lots of information just easily displayed. Um, so I can see all the different um, settings with regards to my traction control, ABS, etc. I can see them in sport, I can see what gear I'm in, see the temperature, the Ks, and obviously I've got my um, my rev range up the top there. It's just nice, very, very visually appealing because it gives you that information uh, nice and concisely, it's not confusing. Um, I don't really like the indicators so much because they don't give you much feel when you turn them on and off. Um, that, like most things, will probably take a little bit of getting used to. I haven't messed around with the lights or stuff. Um, so it really is, I haven't had to do too much kind of mucking around to be fair to get anything to work. It's just jumped on the bike and just kind of brought it straight out. So yeah, look, I, I really think we'll do one last, sorry, mate. That's fine. We'll just do one last quick wee walk around here. Try and capture the bike. I'm really not sure how I feel. I'm not sure how I compare this to Tuano. Um, so difficult. It's. I mean, look at the front on that. Like, I love. I love that front end. It has to be one of the sexiest front ends out there it reminds me of um i don't know if you guys are familiar with an audi r8 
but for some odd reason the kind of configuration around the front end of the bike is kind of like a little bit like of an Audi, a, a bike equivalent of an Audi R8 you know um, I'd almost expect to see this bike on iRobot or something instead of an MV Augusta because it was probably more suited especially that's when the R8 kind of came out all right guys so look for now um, I'm gonna sign off on this little walk around and we'll catch up later on MC procrastinator out